Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're going to learn how you can enable automatic log detection in Adobe Premiere Pro and how you can do the automatic interpretation from log footage to Rack 709. So let's get started. So before I show you how you can enable uh, automatic log detection, uh, let's see how you can traditionally color correct our videos i mean how we can uh, traditionally interpret our video so here are three different videos two videos is s log 3 and the last one this is from iphone which is hlg so if i just click and drag this footage on my timeline i can make uh, i can import the footages and if i want to make a sequence i can just simply click and drag any of the file here on my timeline and it will make the sequence matching with the properties of this clip right so you can see the footage is looking very uh, washed out right so we need to convert this s log 3 footage to rec 709 how you can do that so the traditional method is go to the lumetri color panel and from here go to the basic correction and from the input lat just use the LAD provided by your camera manufacturer company so i'm using sony camera and i have shoot this video using s log 3 so i'll just select s log 3 to rack 709 LAD, right so i have downloaded it here and from this section i can just go to the folder and select the conversion LAD. it will convert the s log 3 footage to rack 709 now we can do the color grading or color correction whatever we want right so that is the traditional method but premiere pro has recently introduced a feature that will automatic detect the log footages from different camera and will apply the conversion automatically so how you can do that let's just undo what we have done so if i just click and drag this footage here this is a s log 3 footage so i don't want to deal with the conversion and applying the lot i just want to do the things automatically right so if i go to the settings from the lumetri color panel you will see beside the edit tab there is a settings tab and from this section you have to go to the project settings right this is the project settings and there if you just scroll down you'll see auto detect log video color space if you just click here it will automatically detect the color space from your video and apply the conversion LUT. so now if i just click and drag another footage from my project panel to the timeline and place it here you will see premiere pro has automatically detect the video color space and interpreted it to rack 709 so it has already done a great job you can tweak some settings from here if you just scroll down from the section input toning tone mapping you can just experiment with the settings by channel you can decrease the exposure from there and you can change the highlight saturation a little bit if you want you can reset it from here if you want to change the settings by max rgb you can do that too and from this section it will preserve the color uh, a little bit more you can again change the settings from here um, i think max rgb works well for iphone footage which is uh, in hlg but for s log 3 i think by channel and if i use the default value it works well so i'll just reset the value from max rgb to default and there i'll just use my by channel so um, that's the look i have to start working now you can just get back to your edit tab and there you can change the exposure if you want you can change the contrast or you can just do auto correction it will do a fair job in my experience so uh, when i don't have a lot of time to experiment with my colors uh, i just need to publish my video then i don't uh, think about doing the color correction and color grading from scratch i just use the auto detection and there i just use the automatic color correction thing so again here is the iphone footage that one have been recorded in hlg if i show you color and there from this step you can see the video have been recorded in hlz right so use media color space so if i click and drag this video here on my timeline you'll see it is look perfect perfectly okay. exposed sometimes okay. when you are okay. editing uh, hlz video from iphone it will look overexposed on your computer when you sit for the edit but if you use the 
auto detect lock video color space it will do the job fairly well so for the iphone footage i'll just go here and from this section i'll just change the exposure or highlight saturation a bit if you want to uh, get the most color from your scene you can just use max rgb and there just decrease the exposure so in my opinion it is looking good you can just experiment with the exposure value so for those who are uh, struggling with the color uh, from our iphone footages then you can use the auto log detection method and it will make your footage pretty good so that's all i hope you have got the point how you can enable auto log detection and do the conversion automatically in adobe premiere pro but it does not support all the log footages so here is a thread from 2013 february 17 they are saying that it support is log panasonic v log canon log and as well as iphone hlg or any other hlg for other camera it hasn't mentioned any other log format here on this article so i'm not sure about those but in my experience i used sony log footages iphone hlg and sony hlg those works well so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye